because Kentucky is a team that can beat Tennessee if Tennessee doesn't play to their strengths. And for me, you know, the, the first key is don't allow a touchdown on special teams. And to be really specific, don't kick the ball to Barry Young. Like, don't kick it to him. Don't allow him to to beat you because he can't. And he possesses speed. Barry Young Brown, he possesses speed that I don't know if we have on our special team unit. Now, we got some fast guys that came in over the last couple of years, but, like, he he is a game changer. And the times that Kentucky have beaten – Florida is because they've won on special teams. You can't allow Kentucky to win on special teams. Tennessee was able to jump on LSU opening kickoff because of special teams. Make them have to go be something or do something they're not used to doing. Like Will Levis had to do something and be someone he wasn't used to to being last year. And it almost paid off for him, but that's not who they are. They're not built to do that. The last thing you want to do is allow them to get seven, ten points in special teams. No, make them try to get them points on offense. Keep the ball away from Barry on Brown. And it's not that your special teams units are not good. Don't need to get all prideful and, you know, sticking your chest out like, no, we're going to kick it to them. We ain't scared of them. Just, just don't kick it to them. Just don't do it. Just don't kick it to them. I just would not do it. So uh, that's the key, man. Do, do not let Barry on Brown get a touchdown in special teams or set up a touchdown with their return. Uh, number two, I think you're going to touch on this too, uh, and that's contain the running game. I say contain the running game and not just uh, one player or two players because Will Levis is a part of the running game. You know, don't let him scramble and pick up 50, 60 yards with using his legs. Uh, we saw how damaging that can be last year. We played Matt Corral. We saw how damaging that could be last year playing against dual third quarterbacks that use their legs. We've been really good at that. We've been better at that, and we need to continue that. So contain the running game includes Will Levis. Of course, Chris Rodriguez is one of the best backs in this league, one of the best backs in the country. You certainly don't want him to get loose, but containing the running game includes Will Levis as well. And then number three, Light up scoreboard early. Light it up. And I think it's important to start fast, and this is something that we've, we've been able to do. But you do it because Kentucky's not built to throw the ball 45 times. They want to run the ball. They want to control the game. Uh, they want to play with the lead. They want to grind the clock out. Will Levis has already said that they want to try to take possessions away from Tennessee, keep the ball away from Tennessee's offense. So they got to run the ball. They need to – have 10 play drives, 15 play drives. Don't allow them to do it. Make them feel that heat with a 14-point deficit early in the game so that way they feel like they need to pass the ball to get back into it. So those are my three keys, man. No touchdowns or setups on special teams. Barry on Brown one of the best in the country, in my opinion. Uh, and then you have the, the containment of the running game. Don't let that get going. Make them one-dimensional and then start fast. Light scoreboard up early. And I think we'll be all right, Josh. Three keys I have for you, and I will pick up uh, where you left off there with keeping Chris Rodriguez in check. I think that's important for a number of reasons. You talk about changing what they want to be if you're able to light the scoreboard up early. Same if you're putting Will Levis in a position where he has to continue to throw the ball because that's not exactly what they want to do, but also – it will create opportunities for Tennessee's defense, I think, to make plays. Yep. If Kentucky's having to throw the ball more often, that means more matchups that the offensive line is going to have to win for Kentucky. And I think that becomes problematic for the Wildcats if Byron Young and Tyler Barron and Joshua Josephs and Harrison and Amari Thomas know, hey, we can go after Will Levis play after play. So keep Rodriguez in check. He can run with some success. Jameer Gibbs ran with success, right? But not as much as they hoped. Uh, a few weeks ago on Alabama side. So keep Chris Rodriguez in check. Pressure Will Levis. Part of that, if you do number one, you'll have an opportunity to get after Will Levis. you have a chance to get to him 
you might have a chance to get the football as well. He can make plays with his arm. He can also make mistakes in the passing game, especially if he is pressing. We saw it last year. We talked about the pick six that Elante Taylor made. Ended up being the difference in the game. Could be the difference in the game or what allows you to blow things open and Kentucky doesn't have a chance and you're able to run away from it. Let's make a, let's make, let's make a bet. If Tennessee gets a pick six, are you going to do the Elante Taylor dance on video? Pick six. Sure. Pick six. Got to be a pick six. Got to be a pick six. Okay. Do I pick the player that has to do it? No. <laughs> no. I mean, we haven't we haven't had a pick six this year, right? No. We haven't had a pick six. So, if we get a pick six, you have to do the Alante Taylor touchdown celebration of last year. He's a kappa. Ramon Foster is a kappa. Maybe he can teach you how to shimmy. Okay. You, you willing to take that bet? As long as it's approved, I'll do it. All right. Yep. All right, all right, all right. All right. Also, for those who wonder, because he has cleared it up, but not everybody has heard, he did get injured, but it was more after the fact. He didn't get injured dancing <laughs> because a lot of people wonder, did he hurt his knee da- doing the dance? I got hurt watching him do the dance. <laughs> so, okay, if there's a pick six by Tennessee. My knees was hurt. Yeah, I'll, I'll dance for the camera. If you're willing to step up for a, a singing bet, why won't I for the dance? I already have great moves anyway. All right, all right, all right. All right, so we'll work on that. And then uh, maybe, third. <laughs> maybe you can get Jimmy Howes to help you out with dance moves too. One of the goats. Yeah. One of the goats. Uh, nobody can match that dance. Uh, number three key for me, first down success on offense. I think that means Tennessee is probably able to run well. Hendon Hooker's legs play a role in what Tennessee is able to do first down. Then it creates problems for the opposing defense because Tennessee's offense is so good. They start their run. And if you're trying to keep up with Tennessee's offense and they're ahead of the sticks offensively yardage-wise, and then that tempo gets running Good luck against Tennessee's offense. So first down success on offense against what is a good Kentucky defense. I don't think they're going to have much of a chance. So three keys for me. Keep Chris Rodriguez in check for Kentucky. He's a really good running back. Pressure Will Levis. Maybe see if you can take one to the house so I can dance for everybody to see. And then number three, first down success on offense with Hooker and company. 